Hi, I'm MB. I'm your staff facilitator here at Grand Rapids Community College. Today we're going to be talking about tips in group wise. First thing I'd like to tell you about is archiving. Have you ever had it where after a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, your messages just simply disappeared? You don't know where they went? That would be the archive system or the lack thereof. Here at CC, the IT department deletes your email after every 30 days. And so when something becomes 30 days old, it is automatically deleted. In order to restore those messages and save them, we need you to create an archive, and I'll walk you through those instructions. To create an archive, you'll want to go to the Tools menu, then down to Options, Tools, Options, and then Environment. Double-click on the Environment tab, and we are going to go to the File Location tab. Under File Location, this is where you want to look. Under Archive Directory, you want to make sure that it says J colon backslash mail backslash. Once you have completed that, go ahead and click the OK button. You will get a uh, message on your screen that asks if it wants to create the directory. Go ahead and click Yes and you're done. You've got your archive. So once you've completed that process, it doesn't look like much has happened. In fact, your screen is going to look basically the same. In order to find your archive, here's what you have to do. If you go over to this online button where there's a little man with an envelope sticking out of his head, if you click on that, you'll notice that you now have an archive directory. When you click on your archive directory, you're no longer in your live mailbox. You're looking at what has been archived. When I need to send a message again, I need to make sure to go back to my live mailbox, again going to the, the little mailman here, clicking on it, and then choosing my name to get back to my mailbox. This is just one of the many tips we're covering in GroupWise. I hope this makes your day a little easier. Bye now.